on the senior level, and that was it. So he had a bronze in 2015, also at Cup China, but hasn't really been able to translate things to the senior level here on the Grand Prix circuit. Three-time Four Continents bronze medalist, though, and uh, looking to bounce back from a 26th at the 2016 Worlds, did not qualify for the free skate. He didn't qualify, but that doesn't mean he's not still a bit of a rock star in mm -hmm. China. They love him. He's got a lot of fans, and he's got a triple axle that looks like it's take, that's a rocket taken off of a ramp. It goes straight up and across the ice. Huge! Oof. But that landing, that chattering of the blade on the landing is one of his telltale signs that he is in competition. He just can't get his knees to relax into the ice to accept the landings and have that flow continue. Quato, he needs it. <laughs> it was big. Actually over rotated. Just seems like when he jumps, he can get so much air, but he doesn't quite know where he left the ice. And he just doesn't know how to settle back into it, have that running edge. Just about to say he'll get a second chance at that quad toe, but he's changed his program. That was not a four revolution jump at all. things I like about his skating. Number one, his posture. He's got a good frame and also his weight transfer from pushes to pushes. It's very smooth, kind of effortless. Well, I've worked with him choreographically and you really get a feel for how good someone is when you're actually sharing the ice with him. Another axle that just went off the heel instead of the front of the blade. Big mistake because he didn't rotate it. But I was going to say that his skating in practice is so much better than his skating when he competes. There's a big highlight there for me. The way you went into that triple loop, so unexpected. Here's the weight transfer I was talking about. Beautiful. Flexibility.
Tan Yan of China, a crowd favorite here. He has a lot of ground to make up, sitting eighth after the short program. He will not be qualifying for the Grand Prix final anyways. He finished 10th at Skate Canada last month. In fact, he's yeah. only ever qualified for the Grand Prix final once, and that was in 2013. But the fans still love him. So much speed you can't see in the slow-mo. It's just one of the most exciting triple axles in the sport for me. Did my heart love to and it has to happen. There are skaters out there where you see the potential and they have difficulty because of that competitive arena to reach their potential. And it seems like Han is dangerously getting close to being put in that category where his skating and his excitement, his power and strength, his ability to fly across the ice should total, at the end of the day, a higher score. There's something special about him. There yeah, is. A, a lot of skaters will, I mean, I'm, I've got to be honest here, some, sometimes a long program is a little too long for me to watch. But this guy, you know, between jumps, he'll throw in a move, like you pointed like out, that, heel that just gets my attention and yeah. makes me appreciate his art. He's cool looking. Hmm. It's just a... Like a, he, he, he should, if it doesn't work in this sport, become a rock star. Just, you know, oh, pick up an little, instrument, make it happen. Little career advice there. <laughs> <laughs> so 155.15 will currently put him in the lead. And, and this is a skater who does know how to win. I mean, 2012 World Junior Champion, becoming the first Chinese single skater to win a World Junior title. He won the national title. I mean, he can get it done. He just needs to find that confidence.